Welcome back from the break. If you've just joined us, this is NBC and the program is Africa Today. We've been joined um, again by Funcho and Godwin. Before the break, we touch on M23, the rebels, and the UN is going to bring some sanctions against them. We're still staying on the DRC. But this time, it said the local hospital has announced that more than 5,000 women have been raped since the beginning of this year in the eastern province of North Kivu. And the Rwanda soldiers are believed to be committing these awful acts. Why? Because Congo is so rich. It said that the very simple things we all get up to do, like getting up and going to the market, 50-50% chance you will be raped and there is no way anyone is going to intervene to save you. And knock on your door, you open it up, there is a soldier, your wife or your daughter. I can't believe this is happening. Who is protecting the women? It's, it's just awful. You might think that the year 2012, this is still going on around. And is every time when there is war, in Congo, I know anywhere why. in the world, when there is war, it's bound to happen. When is it going to end? You can't argue with a guy who carries a gun, can you? Coming after your, do coming after after your daughter, right? Or your wife. You are. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, pathetic. You know, it is pathetic. I think that's a very um, horrid situation that we have in the Congo. And hopefully, um, something will be done. Because uh, I was reading. A story on this particular situation, and um, a woman who had be gone to I think she actually made uh, three trips over there, and then the first time she went, and of course, she really had a very tough time with the situation. She really got to know exactly what was happening over there, and um, based on reports, about forty-eight people are raped, women are raped every hour, and over a thousand people are raped over. I mean, within a year. Go back, yeah. Godwin, not to cut. No, I'm serious. No, wait, wait. I just, I just want the 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 figures again. Every 40, hour, every hour, 40 48 women, women are, are raped. raped, and those women have two choices. They have a choice to either stay at home, get hungry, or go out. And of course, and most of those women will also actually go out, of course, and be raped because they want to survive. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is that. Some of them have. I mean, when this woman went there the first time, the second time she got there, some of them had died. She met a new set of women who complained about the same situations that yeah, she saw the first time. Right and remember, most of these people have also contracted the HIV/AIDS um, pandemic, which is even compounding the situation over there. And um, kids are born with Out the HIV/AIDS it, as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And for me. You read these stories and you tear up. You become so emotional and you wonder if there's someone out there who speaks for these people. Because mm -hmm. for me, we have all these international bodies who can marshal forces and do something. Because although there was there was some kind of an agreement to end the war, things haven't been the same again. Yeah. It's it's a very, very serious situation out there. What can we do? What can the individual family here do out there? I read the story of a young woman who is probably in her 20s now. She had, uh, okay, her father, her mother, uh, she was the only child, a girl, at the age of three. Then she has a cousin, that is father's nephew, Father had to pack, the young man was about 20, and the young lady was about three years old. Pack them up, send them to the UK, over 20 years ago. The lady returned only this year, just a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. for the first time. That means she's not seeing, I read her story, I'm telling you, you tell. She's not seeing her parents in all of 20, Plus years. Oh yes, because they wanted Only to protect telephone. her. Yeah, right. just yeah. to protect her. Mm -hmm. And BBC picked on this lady to do a documentary of a girl in her position who left at that really horrible time. And the funny part of two things are funny about it all, crazy about it, not funny. Number one, things have really not changed. Still the same. Yeah, still the same. Number two, which is the real bad part of it. The women out there 
seem to have agreed that this is normal. So you just go, so you just you go with the flow woman, for you to either, stay alive. Yeah, right? for you to be a woman, either a wife or a sister or mother or whatever, and not to have been raped is like abnormal because it yeah. probably doesn't happen at all that there will be one person. Indeed, in this lady's report, three year old, all right, BBC. Unbelievable, but so, it's, ha but it's so. happening. Yes, it's happening. That's why we have the program Africa. And remember what we said once that these things don't don't portray Africa in any in any any good positive light. man in good light. Please, viewers, that's why we bring it in this program every Saturday night. Okay, and please do pray for Africa. We're taking a break. We'll be right back.